One of the most powerful verses about money is in Proverbs 22, 7. The borrower, listen carefully, the borrower is the slave of the lender. The Bible says to owe man, no man anything. So you be careful about just slipping out and getting alone. Too many people, they don't see personal finance through the, the, this lens that you become a slave to the lender. But that's really what you are. Slave to a master like MasterCard, <laughs> Visa, American Express, Fannie Mae, or your brother-in-law next door. But change doesn't just happen. A lot of people think that, uh, a lot of people think that, you know what, uh, as long as I can make the monthly payment, you get, hey, sir, you get that car down low enough where I can make that monthly payment and still make the payment on my boat, in my new house, I'll, I'll buy that. And you know, you know how it works. Well, you know what? You only have to pay two hundred for this twenty-four thousand dollar car. You only need to pay two hundred dollars for the next fifteen years. Well, I can do that. I don't care how long I have to pay that. Two, I can pay the two hundred dollars for fifteen years. Do the math. That's thirty-six thousand dollars for that car you just paid. So please don't get in unsurmountable debt. Just about everybody has to buy a house. And not everybody has, you know, 200000 150000 100000 just laying around. So you're going to have to go into debt there. But do everything you can to pay that off as quick as you can. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you. Change doesn't just happen. 